Well, uh, I think you've got uh, almost 50 years between the two of them policing experience, and they've worked in various areas within the police service, including some time in criminal investigation. Uh, they've both been acting supervisors for a good part of their career, so uh, they've lived this role to some uh, extent already. Uh, as I mentioned, since 2005, we have 30 new officers and 10 new civilian hires. So mentoring, guiding, coaching, teaching these young people uh, is integrally, integral to their uh, growth, but also to our organizational success. So a big day for both uh, Sergeant Rice and Sergeant Trahan today. You talk about leadership, Paul. Are leaders made or born, or can they be made? You know what, I think it's a bit of both. Uh, I think that uh, you have to have the base values to, to be a leader. You know, you have to be uh, committed to integrity and honesty and leading by example. Uh, but certainly we provide our people with ongoing training by way of frontline supervisory courses, mid-management courses that assist them with their communication and problem solving skills. So I think it's a combination of the two, but I can tell you from speaking to these two officers, uh, they clearly have both the competencies and the values to be successful as supervisors within our organization. It's been a lot of hard work. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting promoted so I can uh, hopefully try and uh, use my years of experience to guide some of the younger officers. And uh, this has been 25 years as a constable and it's been the best job in the world. And I'm looking forward to uh, having, enjoying being a sergeant as much. What changes have you seen over the years, um, you know, technologically and uh, just in the, in the behavior of, of officers? Well, te technology has really changed. When I first started, we actually had an old punch card system in dispatch, and you wrote down uh, what you did at a call with a, with a pencil and a piece of paper. So uh, that's uh, now it's all electronic, and everything's going to be GPS. Everybody knows where you are every minute of every day. Uh, our equipment has really improved. Uh, look forward to uh, utilizing some of the uh, new technology that's uh, been given to the supervisors. And, uh, and what, what do you take with you, you know, into your new position? Um, I guess remembering from when you were a younger cop to the guys that you are now going to oversee. Well, like I said, the people nowadays, they're, they're very, definitely, like the chief said, they're uh, very well educated. They've got uh, good life skills from doing different things. The new competency style interview that they do for police hiring seems to have uh, weeded out some of the uh, ones that managed to get through on other occasions. So we, we have nothing but great people. And uh, like I say, they're just uh, a pleasure to work with. Absolutely, it's been 25 years getting here. And getting here was probably the biggest journey of my life. And actually accomplishing it is kind of a letdown because it's all the work getting to here that was really hard and what I learned along the way. So do you have any goals or ideas you want to bring into this position? Absolutely. We have a very young platoon I've been assigned to, a very young platoon. We also have a young service. Um, I think I want to tap into that energy and the drive that they have and then give them the guidance to keep motivated and then we'll accomplish a lot of things on the platoon level. Talk to me about the changes that you've seen over your uh, your career and you know the challenges that you see ahead as well. What I see for us, uh, when I first started 25 years ago, they hired one or two recruits every couple of years. So platoon stayed very, very stable, and very stagnant in the sense of the same people. Now we're growing so fast, the challenge ahead will be to funnel all that new energy, the new inexperience, and make them experienced and ready for the public. And, and how, do you sell, how do you hold yourself accountable to these young folks coming, you know, that you're going to be overseeing? Um, what I'm hoping to do is I've always had a lot of energy in my career and, and uh, the work I brought forward. But with them, I'm hoping to feed off their energy and continue to work together towards our common goal, which is do great policing, give the service uh, to the public that they deserve.